Hello, this is Mike at Game From Scratch, and welcome to some late-breaking game dev news. Microsoft just bought Xamarin. Now, this is news I've been waiting for for years now. It's made so much sense, and I'm surprised it has never happened till this point. Now, if you've never heard of Xamarin, they were once a company called Zimian, and way, way back, like 10 years back, they made an open-source implementation of Microsoft's .NET platform. Uh, so essentially, they made Mono, which started life as C Sharp and .NET for Unix platforms, or Linux platforms, and eventually became available on Mac, and it matured, kind of became parallel, and in that time, uh, Zimian was acquired by Novell, Novell exploded, Zimian was spun off as a separate company called Xamarin, and Xamarin is the company that Microsoft bought today. Now, Xamarin just recently made the news because they bought RoboVM, and RoboVM creates the virtual software that allows you to run Java applications on iOS. So basically, by buying Xamarin, Microsoft now has the ability to run C Sharp and other .NET language applications on not only their own platforms, but also iOS, Android, Java on iOS, and Mac. So this is huge news. And the reason why it is very, very cool for all of us involved is the Microsoft of today is very different than the Microsoft of previous days. Nowadays, Microsoft is embracing multiple platforms. They are bringing Microsoft Office to iOS to Android. They have learned their wall garden has fallen. They do not have the control over the platform like they used to. Mobile devices are taking off. The world for them now is in software and development tools and operating systems, of course, but they are branching out beyond the world and they are embracing open source in a way they haven't in a very very long time. And in fact, there was a bit of a hint that this was coming. If you recall back a uh, couple months back, so here's the news if you want to go game from scratch and read what I just wrote here. And it was also done in, announced on Scott Gu, the head of the uh, .NET and Cloud team, just did a, a big blog post welcoming Xamarin into the fold. Uh, but a couple of months back, Microsoft launched uh, Visual Studio Dev Essentials. And a big part of that was actually licenses for Xamarin products. Let me see where that came in. So here we go. Uh, Xamarin Mobile Training was in there, and a time-limited version of Xamarin was in there. But the keyest hint, the biggest hint that this tying, this coupling has been coming more and more and more is if you went into Visual Studio, you will notice there is an Android, an iOS, and a Xamarin account already in there. They've been working as, uh, basically Xamarin has been providing the iOS and Android implementation of the .NET runtime for years now. And Microsoft has basically been, I don't know if there's money exchange, but they've been uh, definitely cozy with Xamarin for a number of years. So they used to be competitors probably a decade back, but now that is very much not the case. And with the same announcement with the Dev Essentials and the community uh, version of Visual Studio about a year back, which basically you can now get these tools that cost thousands of dollars before for free, as long as you're a company of less than, I think, a um, five people or a million dollars revenue, uh, Microsoft has really been embracing making tools free. Now, on the other hand, Xamarin is the underlying technology for, or Mono at least, was the underlying technology for Unity for years. And Xamarin has been the path to supporting mobile on uh, different platforms with every game engine out there. Uh, Mono game, you use Xamarin to support iOS and Android. Um, Wave Engine, you use Xamarin. Um, Paradox Studio, you had to use Xamarin. So basically, it's always been this tax. So if you wanted to be a C-sharp developer developer, for mobile, you always had to pay this big fee, and it's a couple hundred bucks, so it wasn't trivial, a big fee to Xamarin just to make your code run. And I imagine that is all going away. And another aspect of this is, remember I mentioned a minute ago that Unity and... Um, Unity is powered by Mono. Well, Unity is powered by Mono that they licensed decades ago. Um, and Not decades, but... Uh, basically from when Unity ships. So it's got a version of Unity 2-ish in there. 2.5, I think, is about the version. And Unity is now, I'm uh, sorry, um, C Sharp is now up to version 6, and a lot has happened in between. Uh, some great asynchronous programming changes, generics. There's just modern C Sharp and C Sharp 2.5 are very different beasts. And unfortunately... Unity developers have been left in the dust. Now, their way around um, having to license Mono again has been to work towards IL to CPP, which is a transpiling uh, process which basically takes C Sharp code and turns it into C++ code. And I believe a big part of the reason, nobody's formally come out and said this, but a big part of the reason always seemed to be an inability to license uh, the newest uh, version of Mono. And I imagine that is going away. Uh, Microsoft fully embraces Unity. You can see here in the recent news, 
that they're tightly integrating Unity. They did some Unity play kits in the past. They are definitely supporting Unity. They're definitely supporting .NET. And generally, they're not charging for this stuff. So expect some announcements very soon. If they do not make Xamarin free or integrate it completely into Visual Studio as exists today, I will eat my own hat. It happens to be made out of candy, but I'm still willing to eat my own hat. This is going to happen. Now, where you should wait for it to happen is right very, very soon. I'm not actually sure exactly when, but uh, Microsoft has an annual conference called Build. It's their developer conference, and it is very soon. March. So March 30th, we have uh, that coming up. And there's another developer com conference coming up from Microsoft as well within a month of that. Um, so expect to hear more at one of those conferences. And I bet you... Ta-da, Xamarin is now free. It's going to be the announcement. Uh, but regardless, if you are a C-sharp developer, this is great news. If you work with a C-sharp framework, guess what? You're probably not going to be paying that license fee anymore going forward. Um, if it continues as business as usual, uh, you know, I really can't see that happening. But uh, worst case scenario, Xamarin has a whole lot more resources behind it. Um, and the possible... I guess worst case scenario in all of this is that Microsoft bought Xamarin to bury it, but that doesn't make any sense. Uh, Microsoft has been working with Xamarin for years to make uh, the C Sharp language and the .NET runtime uh, more popular for more people. So there is no way they're going to turn around and shoot themselves in the foot. Um, people would flee C Sharp in a heartbeat if Microsoft took such a draconian step. And the modern Microsoft is an open source savvy, developer friendly place. They're not going to do something that epically stupid, especially now that Steve Ballmer has retired. So expect to hear great things. I, I, I'm actually really excited by this news, and I hope it is um, going to really uh, be the kick in the pants that C Sharp needs. So maybe we can finally see it become even more popular in the world of game development, which as I said earlier, I'm a big fan of the language, so I'm looking forward to seeing if this happens. Uh, so that's it. Breaking news there. Microsoft just bought Xamarin. Uh, so hopefully we will see .NET on iOS and Android, and who knows what's going to happen there with RoboVM. Uh, that could also be an interesting development. Uh, Microsoft's actually not as... Um, they're not as tied to language as they used to be either, so they will probably continue to support Java and the RoboVM project, but um, it'll be a little bit interesting to see what happens on that one. Uh, worst case scenario, I could see RoboVM being spun off as a separate company or as a completely free product and sent out again, so I don't really see uh, a lot to fear there, uh, but that is a little tangential to why Microsoft bought them, I almost guarantee it. Uh, so I'm not sure what's going to go on there, but all told, I think this is going to be great news, a great development, and great for the world of game development. Uh, let me know what you you think in the comments down below. Uh, see y'all later.